everybody to today's video where we explore the various ways you can use Canva across your marketing channels. If you haven't heard of Canva before, it is an online graphic design platform that allows users to create visual content such as social media posts, presentations, business cards, invoices, and so much more. This is because when it comes to marketing, we often have limited time and limited resources. So on Canva, you can either start from scratch or choose from thousands of templates. Either way, Canva allows you to give your brand personality, so have fun experimenting with colors and fonts. Um, and it is safe to say that we love Canva and recommend it to all our clients and even use it ourselves. Canva has three different access tiers, the free, pro, and enterprise version. Um, but for small businesses, we recommend the free or pro versions. However, today when I walk you through the platform, we are going to be using the free version um, and this is where I'll show you some of our favorite tips and tricks which you can use in your business for your content success. So jumping onto Canva now, this is what a free Canva account will look like. You have access to thousands of templates just like the other versions. So the different categories include social, business, marketing, um, and there is so many things to choose from. You can also search in the search bar. So you can type in business cards and the template for business cards will come up. Let's do, let's do a social media post. So let's go Instagram. We'll type in an Instagram post and it obviously gives you a lot of options. We'll just go for the normal one. As you can see, there is hundreds of templates. They are either free or part of the pro version. So that's kind of the difference between the free and pro. You have access to a lot more. But if we just start, we'll just grab something that's free. We'll grab this one. So you can either create your own or use one of the templated ones and just kind of change it to however you like. So the first tip I want to show you is how to group elements together. So for example, let's use the new text. Um, grouping elements together just makes things a lot easier and um, less time consuming. So if I wanted to um, change the size of them, I'd have to do it individually. But if I was to group them together, all I have to do is highlight them all, click on here and group them together. So now I can move it around as one big element. I can change it all, make it the exact same size. Um, and it just makes things a lot easier. The second tip I'm going to share with you guys today is using your branded colors everywhere. So this will help um, align your content with your brand and make your content more easily recognizable on your website and your social media platforms. So you can change the colors for almost anything. You can change it for text, the background of the different elements. So all you have to do is click on an element and then head over to the color block here. You can use any color of the rainbow. You can actually pick from the colors within the photo, or you can go to the search bar and type in a hex code um, and then use your branded color, which would be either in your logo or on your website. And that way you can be easily recognizable on your social media platforms and digital assets. So the third and fourth tip kind of coincide with each other. The third being locking in Instagram elements, which is kind of similar to the grouping, but it coincides with tip number four is when you are changing, applying changes to all. So for example, we click on this, we've grouped it together, and now we want to click on the three dots and lock it all in. This way, when you are applying changes to all, it's not going to affect this block of content. So for example, if we click on the little elements here and we decide that, you know what, we want to change it to the color blue, um, this would be um, more useful in situations where there's a lot to change if you had a lot of colors to change, but we'll just do it in this example. So let's go and change it to the color blue. Um, once you do that, it will have this option here that changes all of the pinks to the blue. So right now we've got one blue and two pinks. Once we apply changes to all, it changes all of them. So locking this in, although it does use as pink, um, once you've locked it in, it's not going to change it to blue. If this was unlocked, these two news that are in the color pink would then be changed to blue. The fifth tip is uploading your own images. So you can use 
obviously the ones that they've given you in the template, um, but you can upload your business's images or anything that you find on the internet. So all you have to do is upload it um, and then you can upload it from your device, Dropbox, Google Drive, and so on. Tip number six is changing the transparency of your images. So once you upload an image, you can insert it in, into the design. You can adjust it however you want. And then you can go up to the squares up here and um, lower the transparency. So that way it can be seen behind images. You can overlay text or anything above it um, and make it less intense. So other things come to the forefront of the image. So tip number seven is downloading these images, designs to your computer and then uploading them to your social media or digital marketing channels and assets. So what we do recommend is to sign up for the free account, come in and have a play around with what you can create. Once you're happy with the design, you wanna head over to the right hand side and click on download. What we do recommend is if you are uploading this image to social media, um, we would recommend a PNG file. So this is the highest quality image. It will save it in quite a big file size. If you're wanting to upload this to your website, we do recommend saving it as a JPEG. Um, this way it compresses the file size, which is really important for your website. So it makes the images load more quickly. If you are wanting to create an invoice or some documentation for your business, um, downloading as a PDF is a great option. And then you've got some other options here. But once you click on your preferred option, you just download and it downloads straight away for you. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Um, once you have created your own little designs, make sure you upload them and tag them so we can give you some love.